from the Atrium Wonder Hub. And today on our Little Chef's program, we are going to be making stained glass cookies. So this week, our theme is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That is a huge, big, fun word to say. And so with that, you guys might think of sugar and a spoonful of sugar when you hear that word. So we are going to be making some cookies where we are going to add just a spoonful of sugar into it. So the cookies we are doing, they are just a simple sugar cookie recipe, but then we are going to be making this really fun inside bit to it, if you can see that there. It's red and kind of clear, so these are stained glass cookies. Uh, so these are a really fun way, again, to get our littles back in the kitchen with us. Uh, we get to do some smashing with hammers and some delicious cookie. So let's see how we make these. Okay, so here we have all of the ingredients that we need to make our stained glass cookies. So first thing you can see here, I have a bunch of cookies that I've already cut out. So you can use your favorite sugar cookie recipe. Anything will work, um, whatever you like best. So I have just chosen the one that I like to make for my family. And I've cut out the middle in all of these cookies. So we need that because that is where our stained glass is going to go. So for our stained glass, you can see I have four containers here of different colored candy. So I'm using Jolly Ranchers. So these are hard candies. You can use any kind of hard candy that you like that will break up and is made of sugar. Uh, Lifesavers are really good, but I really like the Jolly Ranchers. My favorites are the Blue Raspberry. So what you'll do with the Jolly Ranchers is put them into a bag, or if you have a mortar and pestle, you can do that as well. And just crunch up your candy so that they're in little bits like this, just to make them a little bit smaller so they can fit inside of our cookies. So let's see how that works, getting your littles to help you out. Um, I got my little chef to crunch up all the candy for me, so let's see how that went. All right, so my little chef did a great job of smashing up all of the candy there, so that was really fun. So now I will show you how to put together our stained glass cookies. So it's really quite easy. Once you have all of your sugar or your candy here um, all crunched up like this, just kind of mix it around. If you have a really tiny spoon, that works really nicely um, because you want to make sure that your candy is going into the middle and not getting on the cookie too much. So you can use a toothpick to move the candy around. Oh, wait, there, see, if it gets a little bit on your cookie, that's okay, we can just move it. So you wanna fill them up. Oh, see, I made a real big mess there. So you wanna fill them up all the way full with your choice of color. Now, this pink one looks really cool. But like I said, oh, I made that one really too big. If you make it really too big, you can just kind of pinch it, take some out, that's fine. We'll just sweep it back in. Okay, same with that one. I did a little too much there but that's okay. All right, so like I said, my favorite is the blue. So, so you just kind of keep doing this until they're all full with whatever color you want to do. So there we have our filled cookie. Now, I have a few tips for you uh, when you bake them. So you'll bake them just according to your sugar cookie recipe, however long that may take. So what's going to happen is all of this nice candy that we've put in here, it is going to melt and bubble and 
cover over and become a nice little glass, like you can see in this cookie here. So if you notice if you get some on the cookie sheet, that's okay, it will melt as well. So if you can try to kind of keep it clean, that's a little bit easier, but again, it's kind of fun if you want to see what happens. Also another tip that I found when I was making these is if you have access to these silicone baking mats, it makes it a little bit easier to take the cookie out after once it's cooled. But if you don't have that, uh, if you have parchment paper, that works too. It just makes it a little bit easier to clean off of your cookie sheet. So once these are all done cooking, uh, we want to leave them on the tray for about five to 10 minutes to cool down so that the uh, sugar in the middle has a chance to cool and harden back up so it's not a syrup and running all over your cookie sheet. You want it to harden so that you're able to scoop your cookie off and not make a huge mess. Okay, so we have our finished cookies here. I just pulled them out of the oven. They've been cooling for about five minutes. So let's see how they come off of the cookie sheet. So they should be cool enough that you just slide your lift under there. Oh, perfect. And there we go. And then the candy lifts off just like that. So remember, like I said, my biggest tip that I can give you is make sure that you let them cool so that the candy hardens up again so that you can pull it off your mat a lot easier. So there's that one. Let's try one of these big ones. Oh, nice, comes off so beautifully. So there we go. There are our stained glass cookies. Thanks so much for joining us on our Little Chefs program today. I hope you had a lot of fun making your stained glass sugar cookies. They definitely are delicious. So if you did make some, we would absolutely love to see them in the comments below. We'd like to see what shapes you picked and what colors you picked. So if you want to post that up there, that would be wonderful. Thanks again for joining us. And if you'd like to see more virtual programming like this, you can follow us here or at wonderhub.ca. See you next time.